Hello everyone, welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. Didn't say good morning because it ain't. No, it's like twelve twenty-one. Yeah. We um We went out for a couple of hours this morning to some sales. Yeah. It, we went to what? About nine sales. Nine. Well, well no, we hit two that weren't on the list, so eleven. Yeah, two or three. Yeah. So we we were out for like four hours of course that did include lunch too though we did stop and eat lunch on the way home just because we didn't have breakfast and we knew we were going to get right to work when we got here right so we stopped for a quick lunch yeah so we got some uh i think we got some really cool like valuable and interesting scores i was like really pumped and really pretty much a big majority of it came from the like second to last sale right yeah yeah so we'll show y'all that in just a bit um need to go i do need to go ahead and like mail hasn't run yet so i need to go ahead and uh get this stuff packed i think we have like 15 things that are going out yeah so i need to get stuff packed uh and then we're going to take a look at all the goodies we got we got like this was some really interesting stuff. Yeah, I yeah. To see it. I, I mean, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's worth a ton, although I think it might be. Yeah. So. Good potential. Yeah. Okay, first up on two Charlie. Weird. It's a weird day because uh, I I love going to Friday garage sales, but it creates this weird time pressure that I don't love. But we got to get stuff when we can. So. Fifteen ninety nine plus shipping on top. For this Fontanini Tamira. I don't know if, no, that, that is not an ornament. That's one of the large ones. And in hat box C, we sold a hat. And it might be hard to find. You know why, Candace? It was listed like five years ago. No, because it's camouflage. Oh. But well, here it is. Dad joke. <laughs> oh man this vintage look look at that vintage foam in there uh this vintage hat sold for 19.99 plus shipping on top we did sell some of the records that i've been listing got a lot of the records listed not all of them yet just about there this is one of them that sold this james taylor uh bet greatest hits sold for 14.99 plus ship on 10 Delta. Okay, I guess it's this guy right here. Maybe? No. Is that it? It might have this might have to be it. Wizard. Yeah. This is it, huh? Yeah, this is it. This is a Wolverine bust. Limited. 88 number 88 out of 500 with a COA. 59.99 plus shipping on top for him. He's been listed a long time, huh? Yeah, that was that's probably about a year yeah at least okay see that a lot of times fourth quarter will purge out your uh, old listings for you in the cube we sold some fontanini ox this is it right here fontanini <laughs> the ox originally this sold for 12.50 at uh home and garden showplace but we sold it for 16.99 plus shipping on top D and D drawer one of Candace's parts she's listing for one of those Christmas things sold uh, AC adapter for one of them I don't know which one it was $14.99 plus shipping on top for this uh, Maestro holiday wonderland replacement part five Bravo on the right and yeah look I can't even get back there because I was working with my video game stuff yesterday. <laughs> oh, Five Bravo right, it said. Man, look how empty Five Bravo is now. It's crazy. And it's getting emptier because I'm taking this uh, Huey Hog off the shelf. This model sold for $14.99 plus ship. And go back to vinyl. Vinyl again. I'm going to pull two orders in a row here. Uh, one of them is this Boston record. This is Don't Look Back. That sold for $14.99 plus ship. And then we also sold, also sold, where is it? Ah, here we go. Ice Cream Castle by The Time. That sold for $10.99 
plus ship. And Candace, a couple of people in the comments, I guess you read them because you look at the comments. Mm -hmm. uh, they did mention that, look, this is a UFO, but, but it's, it's, a guitar. it's a guitar. Like, yeah. I'm trying to. Oh, I you see, see the neck of it right like here. You're looking at the front of, like the front of the whatever. You, the it's turned upside down, yeah, yeah and like then, yeah. and the neck is right there. I've I've seen these Boston UFO looking covers for my entire before. life, and I I've never noticed that before. Yeah. <laughs> so, very clever. yeah, very clever. Those three guys are going out. D and D drawer again. We sold some kind of tattoo things. Wax yeah these five cents body shop now this is a good return on investment five cents back in the day for this and then now we sold it for 22.49 so if you would have bought that for five cents that'd be what 20 that'd be like over 400 times return <laughs> 400x your money 10 charlie we sold a i listed a few video game singles yesterday and this is one of them heavenly sword ps3 game complete uh we most of the ps3 games um were not scratched bolo drawer d25 we sold this digimon for 15.99 plus ship and also in bolo drawer we sold some doubloons i think it's these yeah these uh, 70s and 80s doubloons. These are different though. Like the two colored doubloons you don't see too often. These sold for $16.99 plus shipping on top. All right, got all that stuff packed up. It took less than an hour. I packed that stuff fast. I don't normally move that fast. I feel a lot of pressure because now after I get the, everything packed, maybe then, you should just start working at noon every day and you uh, just like bam, get it done. No, you're right. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but but I got all this stuff packed, got it out there before the mail carrier came. And then um, before I could do anything else to show you all the stuff, I've got to edit video because I didn't I haven't been editing at night. I got off track. I was doing so well with that. And after Candace's surgery, I got off track. I need to get back on it. Um, we sold that Welly Wisher thing. Yeah, they are just like flying off the shelves now. That's because everybody else sold them out at cheaper prices. Yeah. And now we're the we're one of the few that have them still, and we're we're cheaper than everybody else. We have now. a more competitive price than everybody yeah. else right now. Yeah. Some people are trying to get like seventy five dollars for them and stuff. We sold this one for thirty five ninety nine plus ship. I think we have one left. That sounds about right. Well. Well, we have so, one that hadn't been paid for yet yeah, too. And then one more after that. Right. Yeah. And and then the other thing. Uh, this is going to go ups. Uh, this is a lot of 45 PS3 video games that I listed yesterday. And it sold uh, late last night or early this morning for 150 bucks. So I was very happy with that. And uh, yeah, I was supposed to work on those video games today. I might, you know, I might do a few of those. I might do a few of the new things we, we pick up. We picked up today. Wait till y'all see it though. This is some fun stuff stuff you you have not seen stuff like this before it's pretty amazing okay we got all that work out of the way so now we can have fun we did fun and then work and now and it, fun yeah like it's like a fun sandwich it is <laughs> working with working with candace is like a fun sandwich <laughs> sounds kind of dirty at least on fridays <laughs> fun sandwich friday <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I miss I miss that kind of stuff. Okay, so yeah, we went to about eleven or twelve garage sales. The first one we bought nineteen twenty things, and then like the fourth one we bought one thing, and then the second to last sales where we bought everything else. Yeah, and so we out of yeah out of twelve garage sales we bought at three garage sales. Yeah, and nine garage sales we walked up, looked around, and walked out. Yeah, which I I think that's important for like people that are new to this thing. Don't waste too much time. Don't waste time and don't like. Unless you go to the one we. If you to. don't, if you don't buy something, it's okay. Like we, like especially if you watch the people that put up garage sale videos, including us when we used to put them up, like you know, filming at garage sales. 
We would only show you the ones where we bought stuff. All the footage where I walked up, 90, camera rolling. Probably 90% of the footage. Right, right. 90% of the footage ended up on cutting room floor because we didn't buy anything there. I mean, don't just like zip through, like walk through, scan slowly. Don't forget to look under the tables. <laughs> and don't forget to look up yeah. and up and down is like, oh, it's yeah. a, yeah. So. My strategy when I'm walking up to a sale, I'm scanning as I'm walking up and I'm looking for my areas I like. Yeah, me and Candace will usually cut off, break off one way and I'll go the other. Yeah, we can cover both and sides. Then, and then she'll usually cover the area I covered at the end and then I, vice versa just in case you something yeah yep yeah but i mean go through and don't rush but don't like meander through so, so a lot of times i like to do a, pre, a like a preemptive walk maybe, around maybe just in back. case there's a gem yeah. like a real like low-hanging fruit kind of gem mm -hmm. then you could grab it because the worst i have been to garage sales before where I zone in, like I just, I focus in on one area and I go right to it without looking around and there's something awesome on the other side. And then, and then like somebody, somebody that walks up and grabs after, it. somebody that came up after me yeah. goes to it and I'm like, oh my God, I got here before them and they're leaving with the best thing at the sale. The good thing about two people though, there has been times like Lonnie's over here looking at something and I see something and I see somebody like, seeing it kind of like seeing it too or head about to head over there and i'm like lonnie <laughs> right <laughs> and then, or, or sometimes i'll be like candace just stay stay here yeah put your hands right here and stay here for a second yeah. i need to go let me go get the seller yeah. or what you know like it, it's nice having two people it, it is, is nice having two people sometimes so so anyway our first sale um our first all of our first buys was some kind of books first sale we bought 19 clovis crawfish books these are like the original prints, um, like this little stack Look, here. Clater's Bookstore, 241 North Street. That must be who printed them at first. And then yeah. as, as they became more popular, they got yeah. fancier. Like who printed them in this series? Let's see. And she might, she might, she probably made a Pelican. Pelican Publishing Company. It might have been her own. Yeah. That's in Gretna, Louisiana, which is near uh, New Orleans. So these are all about the adventures of Clovis the Crawfish. Yes. And, um, I, I thought they were cool. They're in great condition, and there's a bunch of them. Yeah. And I, I think we'll we have we do have like some that we have two of. There's two duplicates. So we may make a couple of lots or whatever, but we we only paid a dollar a piece. I thought these were really cool, and we're trying to focus more on local type things. Yeah, things that you can't get everywhere in the country. Right. So there won't be as much competition on eBay for that. Right. Yeah. So yeah, it's we, cool. Yeah, we got 19 of those, paid a dollar a piece for those. There's lots of French. Yeah. <laughs> lots of French in these books. Candace's Petit Papillon, mm -hmm. that, which I guess is a caterpillar. <laughs> Clovis Crawfish and Bertie's Bon Voyage. Petit Papillon's a butterfly. Oh, oh, well, also caterpillar, right? No, caterpillar and butterfly are two different words. I know, but when they, they start off as a caterpillar. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just... Orphan Zozo. I, I was asking Candace if they have actually have Clovis going to a crawfish boil. That they might. might. They might get him getting caught up in a trap or something. <laughs> Clovis, <laughs> Clovis in a trap. <laughs> look, Clovis and Etienne Escargot. Looks like he's on a date there. Yeah. Look, look at the, look. Ooh la la. <laughs> Michelle Mint. Oh, there's, so there's another the Etienne yeah. and Simone. Soup fleur. This is fleur. Yeah, that must be hummingbird, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, paid a buck a piece for those. Or and maybe the, sweet flower. I don't know. Yeah, that would make sense, huh? Yeah. Or a sucre. I don't know. And then um, I'm gonna be looking up all these French words. <laughs> I, also, at that same sale, we got that cookbook right there. Yep. Which we already have one. We already have one of these listed. It's on that shelf back there. These are. This is a really cool edition. I had to talk about good one. Um, and then this. These. These are out of Lafayette, and this is the second version. What's awesome about these is we have a local um, artist. Um, He's dead now. George Rodriguez. He he did like the blue dogs and stuff. Yeah. But it's full of his artwork. Yep. As you can see here. So um, that makes this book really special. That book's, well, it's worth about 20 bucks, right? Yeah. And we paid $2 for it. Yeah. Look how cute that is. Kiss me, I'm Cajun. And then at a, 
family run estate sale i found these cookbooks um these are two beta sigma phi so I'm is that a college sorority or yeah. it is okay. yeah so i'm gonna lot those up it's funny lonnie loves fruitcake and we, we were, were just talking about we that. we were at lunch we were talking about um how much he loves it and nobody else does and I, i'm gonna try to find someone local that makes them to buy him one but here's a recipe maybe i'll yeah. just make one Look, there's a fruit cake right there fruit cake on the front so we got those two and then these are two local baton rouge church cookbooks uh a stream of baptist and thor baptist yeah you can see the crawfish is very popular around here of course yep. <laughs> and then uh everything else we're going to show you came from one sale okay so this estate sale that we went to was crazy it was jam-packed but not in a good way <laughs> okay so they had stuff boxes of stuff that everything had, was boxed and you had to dig through these boxes right and the boxes have prices the boxes they were trying to sell things by the box and people just don't do that so okay. that this was the second weekend of the sale too so they had um they had each box was numbered with kind of a description was in it and the price for the whole box right and the cashier inside had a master list <laughs> with her box numbers and what was in there and the price of the box so whenever if you wanted just one thing out of a box you had to bring it up there hey this was from box 29 how much can i how much do you want for it and she'd pull out her list <laughs> and then they'd come up with a price it was the craziest thing right or you could just buy the whole box or you could buy the whole box which we did with one box yeah i found this and i was like oh wow this might be good yeah so look this box it says what 14 t-shirts six ball caps three sunglasses two flashlights twenty dollars twenty dollars so this is all um Mar marlboro adventure team stuff new yeah it's all new it's all new so look, you check it out look at all these t-shirts these are still in the plastic yeah look yeah. still in the plastic t-shirts official team gear look at that they, adult one size oh, they're sunglasses you were asking what they were oh okay yeah adventure team is that broken and oh no it's a it's band just... like a strap look at that okay so and look. they're like little wayfarers wait what is this though adult one size it, it's a one size t-shirt how, how does that work we're gonna have to figure out a size and we're gonna have to give measurements but look we have a box full of t-shirts here yeah. i think that's all it is they're all look like they're all the same so that'll be easy one. Oh, that'll be super easy yeah okay one, one and then one. yeah there's like three glasses and a couple of flashlights yeah molly needs one for girl scouts should i send her a cigarette flashlight? no you should not <laughs> and then we have like it looks like four hats here yeah so uh i think this was a home run i i'm not sure but i looked up like adventure team marlboro shirts. adventure team shirts yeah and uh i liked them if, if you look them up like that was a long sleeve one there yeah check it out it's got the cowboy on it yeah so i'm thinking i'm thinking that was pretty good 20 bucks for all that what a deal all that all right what'd you pay for this clown i think two i thought it was neat it doesn't have it has a stamp on it says mo i don't know what there's that another means. stamp is there yeah look right here oh, that's right that's i found a date that's on a good it stamp. 1958 58 mold craft it's got a lot of paint still on it it's some kind of plastic a hard plastic and it's a bank and it's got the stopper yeah and oh another bank yeah this is a cool this is one of those promos that the banks would give away deposit insurance oh federal deposit insurance oh fdic member basically ten thousand max insurance for each depositor turn around and now, look at the other side is you were in banking not too long ago it's still 10 grand no what is it now oh god is it 100 grand it's pretty high up there and it's per it's like per account per account yeah okay so maybe our, it was 75 i'm trying I don't it, know. I, it was 10 grand for the longest e even when 10 grand wasn't really that much money anymore so what bank is that that's what i was going to tell you capital bank and trust is that capital one no it's not no capital bank and trust uh baton rouge louisiana and it's got like we don't have a key yeah it looks I, like although something's going on here too yeah i'm not exactly sure what's yeah. going on I with that if there's a bunch of money but in that's 
Man, doesn't it feel like heavy? It's, I know. I, I, it is. It feels so dense. So should we sell it or try to break it open? No, we should try and open. I think we can get it open. There might be like $100 bills. <laughs> there, literally, there could be, Candace. I know. You know what this probably is? You know why you don't have a key? Because they, they don't, you don't have a key. Because you bring it, you fill it up. And bring it, and bring it to, to the, the bank. bank they open it and they deposit it for you. Okay, so Monday we're going to bring it to the bank. What bank? Hey, hey, S Capital One that has your name on it. It says Capital. <laughs> it's Capital Bank. People do call Capital One Bank that, Capital Bank. We can get it open. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we... I didn't... You know what? I never considered that it might have money in it until I mean, you said that. Doesn't it kind of feel it like... It feels like there's something solid, in it. like full of something. What if it... What if there's... What if it's jammed full of $100 bills? Then we got... I guess we got to bring it back to them people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's the ticket. That's what we're going to do. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So you paid how much? two dollars okay. so so let me ask y'all <laughs> it okay let's say let's say if you bought if you bought this bank at a at a garage sale or an estate sale and it was it had let's say it had 10 grand i don't even know if you could fit 10 grand in there let's yeah. say it, let's say it had okay. five maybe five grand huh you could probably fit five maybe but i doubt it okay let's say it had three grand in it yeah and hundred dollar bills when you opened it what would you do? What would you do? Would Unless you keep it? Has it has five hundred dollar bills in it. Huh? Five hundred dollar bills, like five hundred. Oh. Bills. Well, they had thousand dollar bills back yeah. in the day. Yeah. So here's my thought. Okay, these the, these people were descendants of the person whose the sale was. Right. And they sold us for two dollars. Mm-hmm. Me, I would have busted this sucker open. Oh yeah. And just cut my losses at the two dollars if there was nothing in it. I don't know. I guess it, they didn't think about it. It's cool though. They didn't get it open. I know that because they mentioned it. They tried. They, yeah, they said we don't have the key. We can't open it. I wonder if we could shine a light in there and just because there's a hole. Yeah, we'll, we'll check. We'll check it out. Feels better. like leather, huh? Yeah. No, it's yeah. It's cool. It it feels dense. Yeah. Like I get the feeling there's something in it. I know. I do. I really do. Okay. All two right. bucks on that. We got this um, Disney hat. It's got the tag on it. It is a little dirty there. I'm gonna try to clean it. It doesn't look like it's bad. It just looks okay. like surface dirt. Right. So I'm going to see what I can do with it. We paid a buck for that. How old do you think this is? I don't think it's that old, but maybe, I don't think it's that new either. 80s. I think right? 80s. Yeah. It costs $8.50. I could probably tell by the logo. It's got that old. To me, yeah, that, to me, that looks like a transition between 70s and 80s. Yeah. You know, it still has part of both I'll be designed. able to date it by the logo, I'm sure. Yeah. All right. Candace almost got in a fight over this thing. <laughs> Look, she, Candace. These ladies were tough. They were. They, they were older ladies. They were, they were nice. They, they were, they had it together. They but you, liked Lonnie more than me. You had to play, like, you had to figure out the rules they were playing by. And it was like Soup Nazi on Seinfeld. You just had to fall in line and play by their rules. Box number one, two, seven, one <laughs> item, ma'am. And then she would she would look it up okay you could set it there honey that'd be two dollars okay that's fine and then i'd go on and candace life is all serious Can, candace candace get, grabs this well she thought it was a crawfish at first and, but then we you know later on she looks at it, she's like wait a minute that's a shrimp, a shrimp yeah that's a shrimp that's so, a brass shrimp it's right there in the same little area where the cashier was so i pick it up and i'll kind of walk like 10 steps over how much for this what box was it in and there was like three boxes right by each other and i didn't remember which one <laughs> <laughs> i'm like uh one of those over there so one of the ladies runs over there and she's looking in the boxes trying to figure out which one it came out of and one of the boxes had another one in it but it was like really corroded <clears throat> so she gives the lady the box number the lady pulls out our list at the table so she goes four dollars and the lady that was had looked in the box was like oh no she and goes that's brass yeah she goes that, that's brass 
And I'm like, okay, well, never mind. And Lonnie walked in at that point. <laughs> and after I said, never mind, the lady goes, $5. And I was like, are you serious? Yeah. And I was like, I'm like, ma'am, I'm sorry. My wife is just really cheap. I'll go ahead and give her the extra dollar so she could buy it. <laughs> and I, I totally threw Candace under the bus just for fun. I was joking, but they took me seriously. They did. They did. And the whole reason why I thought she was going to come back with a bigger number, Lonnie had found these, um, these glass beer steins with pewter with like no they were pewter they were solid they pewter. were solid okay yeah. he, oh that's right he found these pewter mugs and they wanted 15 a piece for them and they were like those are pewter so when she came back and said that's brass four dollars i thought she was going to come back like 10 or 15 so that's why i'm like yeah okay. so i made a big show of can of uh having to give candace a dollar so she could buy the uh the brass shrimp so then a little later we find some brass some fancy brass trivets with horses on them. <laughs> and Lon Lonnie's like, how much y'all want for these? And he's like, they're brass. And what'd you, what'd you say, $5? $5. $5 each. And he's like, ah. Oh. And then she turns to the other lady. I don't know if she knew I could hear her or not. She goes, huh. She didn't want to pay five dollars for the brass shrimp, and he paid for it for her. <laughs> they were talking about me. <laughs> it's, it's so funny. but because it's totally unfair because it's really the flip-flopped how we are yeah how, how we were acting so anyways so uh, that was funny so we ended up getting it for five dollars now once once we got everything up there and they were sorted it out paid to pay for it or whatever i had initially ha had my eye on this i saw it and it didn't hit me what it was i'm like well, that's weird it's a meat cleaver with like a menu on it so i went and picked it up and it's not it's not really it it doesn't have like an edge no. um it's from steak and ale now we don't know the year because we did see some others on ebay they all have 1968 which we think is when the restaurant mm -hmm. first started so we're thinking we can we can figure out around the time frame uh by the menu prices right yeah like uh a new york strip was 10.95 i've seen see i've seen these just like this where the shrimp cocktail is like a dollar five right so ours it, is gonna be a later model yeah uh, it's got the wine list on the other side too it's cool and it is heavy like a meat cleaver it's a heavy, yeah, it's heavy. metal it's real thing. thick metal and um, they had they had 30 bucks on it and um i offered 15 and they came back with 20 and then i set it down and i said yeah I'm, the old walk -off. i said i'm gonna have to think about that one and then once we got all of our stuff together we were looking at some other stuff he goes i'm buying it either way i just wanted to see if she'll give it to me for 15. <laughs> and they told they, they told us the total on all of our other stuff and i said uh i said you want to you, you don't want to you don't want to add a 15 dollar cleaver on there huh and the woman she just looked dumb with it all she's like oh, okay you can do a 15. Yep, so, so yeah. we got it for 15 dollars. and the ones i've seen it looks like they sell between somewhere 50 to 80 bucks somewhere yeah, in there i think it may be 60 on ours maybe i don't know we'll see but we uh we that's not it that's not all though we have some more from this sale we do have some more a few more things all right this is the last stuff we bought so i walk into one room and i see mr peanut mr peanut and then look at this guy this is the fruit stripe zebra fruit stripe gum zebra yeah and we have three of those yeah. two are bagged Bag. and one is not and uh they had ten dollars on them i looked look, look up the on that thing. i know look look up fruit stripe zebra plush and y'all will see why i got pretty excited when i found these because it, they're pretty good uh these guys i'm not sure about so um, they had these mark the bag ones were 10 each individually and he was five because he's not in the bag and what did you offer her uh i offered her Third, no, I offered her 25 for all of them, for all five. And then she came back with 30. She wanted $6 a piece and we had a deal. So paid basically $6 per plush for those. And uh, the, the fruit stripe, the fruit stripe zebra is just amazing. Yeah. I, when you see that zebra, you think of the taste of that gum. I know, it's and an iconic taste. It's, it's really good. Is that the gum that where the flavor only lasts for like 38 yeah. seconds and it's gone? Yeah. But it's really good. It's really good those few seconds. <laughs> right. <laughs> so that, that was a pretty good score there, I think. And then 
We also, I also found in one of the boxes Candace is talking about. The boxes. You did? I did. You did, and then I did. I saw them, and I'm like, well, that's interesting. And you came out with these. Right. And I said, Lonnie, there's a box in the garage full of Mr. Peanut oven mitts. Yeah. So I went back out there, and I'm like, I, I took them out. I brought them up with the box number. I think it was box 154 they were in. <laughs> and, and, uh, and then she gave me a price of a dollar a piece on these uh, Mr. Peanut oven mitts. Yeah. So, yeah, I have, I don't know how many are here. Is there one open? Yeah, here we go. There you go. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, I don't know why you would want to reach in an oven with Mr. Peanut. <laughs> but, but yeah they had mr peanut plush mr peanut oven mitts and they had they, they had three mr peanut pewter mugs yeah that's a, the pewter mugs even. and i looked and they wanted 15 a piece for the things i but offered pewter. i offered 15 and she she said but they're pewter and i'm like is pewter really that great though for real like i know pewter like it's like a pot metal. Huh? Yeah, it's not like it's, it's just a, a fancy name. Another reason I didn't buy this set of pewter mugs, they had four, and she's like, "Yeah, I took one out to keep." Yeah. I'm like, okay, now you have a set of three. She took. She kept one of those too. Did she? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I wonder if she kept any fruit stripes. I don't know. The the, the guy must have had something. He must have had some business. Maybe he had a business where like a. Yeah. Uh, let me tell you, they it was full of like new old stock in the box like stuff from like maybe late 70s 80s but right. it wasn't good stuff no it was like wooden coasters tape dispensers like like the disposable tape dispensers right like, like the scotch tape and they were like it was like all yellowed uh like the, the you know the yellow and red ketchup and mustard squirty bottles new in the box yeah like just, who would want that yeah, like just, dollar store type stuff almost yeah it was really crazy that they had kept this stuff all this yeah. time so i don't know what that was all about but i thought that stuff was pretty unique <laughs> yeah so but yeah we had a lot of fun today it was uh i'm glad we i'm glad we hit us hit some stuff at that last sale there yeah it would have been very disappointing because we were out quite a while and up until that second to last sale we probably all we had was books, books. crawfish crawl dad books and cookbooks. cookbooks and that's it crawl so. dad books and how to cook crawl dad books <laughs> right yeah. right so that's going to be it for this one i hope you enjoyed it thanks for joining us and we will see y'all again very soon bye y'all bye